All right, now the last video we talk about the product rule. So now uh, we shall discuss the quotient rule. Okay, so what exactly is the quotient rule? Well, this is the formula for quotient rule. As the term implies, you may have imagined that um, the quotient rule is uh, is used to differentiate uh, something with, um, you know, like a fraction. Okay, something that look a bit like this. Okay, now in actual fact, the quotient rule is essentially the product rule. So, um, well, some people may not want to learn this quotient rule and do it as a product rule. Okay, but uh, after all, it's um, something that uh, is pretty useful if you know how to do it. Uh, because it can help you differentiate a fraction like this, a complicated looking fraction like this in a very quick manner. Okay, so let me quickly run through with you what exactly it is before we go through one particular example. And for the example, I'll show you uh, the difference between using the quotient rule to solve it, or uh, rather to differentiate it, or and uh, versus um, using the product rule. Okay, on that particular question. So uh, let us get started. <coughs> now, this quotient rule is to... Uh, basically the use of a quotient rule is to differentiate a fraction like this okay and uh, as all of us understand a fraction that is a top part okay there's a top which is the numerator and there's a bottom which is the denominator okay so we shall code name them as top and bottom all right as the formula here uh, looks like okay um, basically you keep the bottom okay and you differentiate the top du dx refers to the derivative of u with respect to x and minus away uh, you keep the u and you differentiate the v which is the bottom okay so it sounds very much like the product rule isn't it i mean it takes turns to differentiate so you keep the bottom you differentiate the top minus away you keep the top differentiate the bottom okay and the entire thing divided by the bottom square so this is what the formula is all about now the significance difference between uh, obviously it looks obvi very different from the product rule product rule looks a lot more uh, simpler okay uh, but uh, now somehow it sounds a bit a bit like the same because after all there are two things that we have to differentiate and we are actually taking turns to differentiate them right we keep one differentiate the other uh, minus but in this case uh, being a quotient we got to take note right we have to keep the denominator first okay so let me try to uh, highlight to show you a little okay you have to keep the denominator which is the v all right and then differentiate the top Okay, uh, th there's no two way about it uh, because uh, you are dealing with a negative here, a minus. Okay, so so you cannot um, do it otherwise. Okay, otherwise you'll be wrong. Okay, so let me quickly run through with you one particular example to showcase to you how to use this. Alright, now let's take a look at this example over here, right, of which uh, we're supposed to differentiate a fraction like this. Okay, which is um, the top and there's a bottom. Okay, of course, uh, I'll, I'll show you how to differentiate this using the quotient rule. Okay, so as the, what we discussed earlier on, okay, there's a top and there's a bottom. So the top is red in color, the bottom is blue in color. So according to the formula, what we're supposed to do is going to keep the bottom. So we keep the 2x minus 1. And we're going to differentiate the top. So to differentiate the 3x plus 2 uh, is a very simple thing. We simply get 3. Okay, and now what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to minus away. Okay, and we're going to keep the top, okay, keep the top, which is keep the 3x plus 2, okay, and we're going to differentiate the bottom. So when differentiate the bottom, we simply get 2, okay, and uh, the entire thing, entire thing, oops, this is not very nice, okay, one more time, yep, okay, the entire thing going to be divided by the differentiate of the bottom, but square, okay, the square of the different, uh, the square of the bottom, I'm sorry. Okay, so after simplifying, uh, which is not that difficult to simplify, so we actually end up with a six x minus three minus away six x plus. No, it shall be a minus four due to this negative over here. Okay, so uh, minus six x minus four over the two x minus one bracket square, of which we will end up with. Well, this two will be cancelled away, and we shall be left with negative 7 over 2x minus 1 to the power of 2 okay this is our answer okay uh, by doing the quotient rule I hope sort of you know it's not that difficult after all if you know how the uh, the formula okay you can actually memorize it 
all right uh, which you should because uh, after all uh, in exam this is what you want to do a uh, very quick manner and get a, to get the answer okay now I was saying earlier on now you can actually force your product rule to work okay for this particular example all right what am I talking about well let's take this example um, one step further okay so so to differentiate this fraction is the same as to say that we want to differentiate 3x plus 2 okay multiply by 2x minus 1 to the power of negative 1 okay all right and of course uh, we can apply our product rule here of which we keep the 3x plus 2 okay and we differentiate this uh, 2x minus 1 to the power of negative 1 and uh, this one we have to apply our chain rule okay of which we bring down the power our power becomes negative 2 and we have to differentiate the inside okay and uh, we have to plus okay we have to keep this other part now which is the 2x minus 1 to the power of negative 1 and we differentiate the, um, the 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 other term the first term right which will give us 3 okay so this is it now you may think that uh, hey you know um, using the product rule seems like a better idea because you know it seems to be a bit faster and got the answer now the trouble with this answer is that um, you 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 more often than not you will have to simplify this okay into uh, this form Okay, a fraction form, be it whether you want to solve, uh, equate it to zero or any other value later on. Okay, this, is, this isn't as friendly as you think it is. Okay, what am I talking about? Well, basically, you need to understand that well, when you are facing a negative power like this and like this, uh, this is actually a fraction, alright, and this is actually a fraction as well. So, if you were to write it down as a fraction form, okay, it will look a bit like this. Negative 2, 3x plus 2 okay entire thing to the power of 2x minus 1 uh, square okay right because because as you can see here this is the only thing that will appear at the denominator okay and everything else will be at the numerator okay now similarly to this um, the 3 will be at the numerator and the denominator will be 2x minus 1 power 1 okay now this doesn't look quite like this okay as uh, you can imagine this is not as simplified as this single fraction here so in order to make this into a single fraction it's pretty easy isn't it you just have to multiply by 2x minus 1 to the back fraction so that you can have a common denominator which is uh, your 2x minus 1 bracket square Okay, and what is left at the numerator will be negative 6x which is this negative 2 multiplied by 3x and uh, minus 4 okay and this positive 6x and uh, minus 3 okay because of this 3 multiplied by this 2x and this 3 multiplied by negative 1 and of course uh, you cancel out the 6x you will be left with negative 7 over 2x minus 1 okay bracket square now there you go you see we get the same answer okay now uh, some of you may think that oh, if that's the case you know I don't mind doing one more step and uh, you know I don't have to remember one more formula okay now um, this is a very simple example okay I can't emphasize this enough because in actual exam or test um, chances are you won't be seeing this uh, kind of um, question often maybe the next example you get to know what I mean okay so in this particular example you're dealing with a uh, whole number integer values of power be it negative so chances are you'll be dealing with square root signs which is fractions and so on so um, it may not be as easy for you to simplify into a single fraction if you were to force your product rule upon a question that's supposed to be test you uh, supposed to be testing you on your quotient rule okay so uh, bottom line uh, it would be a wonderful idea if you can to memorize this formula okay so let me repeat one more time keep the bottom differentiate the top minus away keep the top differentiate the bottom divided by the bottom square okay